Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Whiskey Calling here, Saturday evening, just settling in around uh, 6 o'clock or so, 6.30, and uh, I thought, you know what, I bought a book, Bamore 15, the other day, and I have not cracked it open, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to crack this sucker open, let you folks know what I think, and hope you're enjoying and driving yourselves tonight. Um, let's see what we got here. So Bamore, I was just reading, reading the... Uh, the box here a little bit and it's talking about here you know like i've had more 12 before and i have had this one before too but I've never had my own bottle so just taste it in passing here and there kind of when you're you know socializing or whatever and you're not really settling into it so uh and paying attention so i'm curious what this is going to be like um they talk here about um they say that its final years are spent maturing in all Rosso sherry casks and it gives it, they gives it. They're saying a, a rich, deep color reflected in its name. Discover delicious dark chocolate, sun-dried fruits, a wisp of idly peat smoke, cedar wood, and a crack of toffee. Um, so, you know, a trace of toffee. I think it says here. So, anyways, kind of interesting. Um, and I kind of do like like the sherry influence. Um, certainly in scotches so so you know we're gonna see what this is like oh yeah so yeah this is uh you know the old classic more looking bottle but yeah a very deep rich looking color here um i don't know if this is uh has any artificial color in it or not um, but it is, you know, let's say it is a nice color in either way. Um, what they got going here, it's 43% alcohol. So, um, you know, you know, not, not super, super, um, you know, intense in that fashion, but, um, let's see what we got here. So yeah, 15 years. Here it is folks. Let's give it a crack and see what it's like. See if we can get a good cork pop on this sucker. Good Saturday night cork pop. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, so it, it just took a smell of the bottle there. Definitely, the, the, there's some peat going on. Some nice peat. No question about that. Pour a little bit more here. But yeah, so yeah, again, nice looking bottle, dark, rich, um, quality stuff. Um, I am kind of interested, you know, I've never, I don't think I've ever tried the 18. I think they've got an 18 and a 21, I think. Uh, we'd love to try those two. I think, uh, you know, don't quote me on that. But yeah, right away off the nose here, quite a bit of peat, I gotta say. That was smoky. Smoky, uh, kind of smoky caramel. Definitely smell the sweetness, the caramel. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a nice combination, I gotta say. Um, sometimes, you know, non pita scotches to me at times can be a little bit too fruity almost. Um, you know, fruit sweet versus I really, really like bourbons, for example, that are more of a brown sugar sweet. But this is a. Uh, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, of course, I love peated scotches, but um, if it's all peat all the time, I love, but this is kind of a nice combination between uh, kind of a different, kind of a sweet flavor and a peaty flavor at the same time. So I don't know if I've experienced that tons of times before. So I do like this so far, at least on the nose. Let's see what it tastes like, folks. You know, a nice uh, combination of flavors. The first quarter of the sip is a little bit subtle, and then 
that I'm getting some, some kind of a cherry flavored, smoky toffee, kind of a nice, yeah, a nice kind of lingering finish. Um, it's not super hot, but it's got a little bit of, a little bit of that going on as well. It's kind of a nice combination, a little bit of an interesting journey. Um, some variety throughout the sip for sure, which is not always nice. So let's have another sip. A little bit of a grippiness is starting to starting to uh, show up here, which I really like. Uh, when it kind of grips your tongue and kind of moves from one flavor profile to another, so it kind of jumps around a little bit between kind of a, a cherry fruit, um, you know, smokiness, uh, kind of a little bit, a little bit of slight saltiness going on too, which which is really nice. And uh, yeah, you know, even on the nose. Getting a little bit of a, it's a sweeter version of Lagavulin. Sometimes like Lagavulin 8, for example, or 16. Well, kind of, you know, more 8, I find, will have almost a, a salty smell to it. Uh, and a little bit of a salty taste to it, which I really, really like. Uh, this has got a little bit of that going on too. It, it, you know, kind of mixed in with a bit more of a, yeah, toffee caramel thing going on. One more sip, folks. You know, this is, I feel this dram has got a little bit of everything. I remember kind of thinking that when I've tried it before, kind of just in social situations where I wasn't really paying too much attention. Um, it's just got a, you know, kind of a, uh, a little bit of everything. You like a little bit of uh, peat. It's got a little bit of peat. If you're if too much peat's too much for you, this won't be too much for you. Uh, but it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. Uh, a, a, you know, decent finish, a little bit of heat to it, um, a little bit of a peppery thing going on. So it's got a really nice, nice variety. Um, so I would highly recommend th this one. Um, it's kind of a re really, really nice, nice combination. So anyways, folks, I thought I would just uh, try that, say hello, and uh, hope you guys are having a great night, having a dram. Um, and we'll talk to you again soon, everybody. See you later.